What's up, ladies and gents? Ben Bukowski coming back at you with another episode of Q and A. Uh, second part of a question from Celeste Anastasia Crow: Yoga for bodybuilders. Is it important? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? This is a really, really interesting topic to me because I'm a huge advocate of flexibility, especially more recently that I've realized my flexibility has started to stink, so I'm trying to bring it back. I used to be Gumby. I used to be ridiculously flexible, and now I'm not. So I'm trying to bring it back. Um, yoga and bodybuilding. So one thing I want to tell you, if you do decide to do yoga, you've never done it before, and you can afford it, I highly recommend one-on-one -on -one yoga instruction. Why? Going into a class is not the best idea for people who are unfamiliar with yoga and flexibility and anatomical positions. Let me explain. I am extremely flexible in my hamstrings my lower, my, and, and extremely flexible in my lower back. Certain parts of my hips are very inflexible. So trying to tell, to tell your body that you want to reach a certain position, your body's going to do whatever it takes to get there. It's going to, take, it's going to pay no attention to joint angles and making sure certain muscles are stretched. It doesn't really matter to, to your body. Your body says, I want to get to that position, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get there. So you need someone who's in a, a trained eye to make sure you're achieving it in the proper way and not simply overstretching one body part and still keeping those other tight body parts tight. So essentially what you would be doing then is creating these massive gradients between certain muscles being really flexible and certain ones not, not being flexible at all. So hopefully you understand that. So you need someone who's got a really, really trained eye to make sure that you're stretching the right muscles in the right way because your body's going to find a way to get in those weird positions no matter what. Maybe it be externally rotating your hips or you know flexing your spine, any, any of those things. So I highly recommend finding someone that's trained to do it. If you create massive gradients and flexibility between muscles, you're going to cause worse problems in your body. So yes, yoga can be extremely advantageous to a lot of people, but if you're someone who isn't really um, experienced with it or experienced with the concepts of flexibility and stretching, you need to make sure that you have someone who is uh, and obviously be very, very particular with who you hire to be your yoga instructor. They need to have a very good understanding of positions because most people don't get this. Most people, it's just about getting in this position. Well, that's absolutely wrong. The same idea in exercise. You don't want to just get into the bottom of a squat. It needs to be proper. It needs to happen in the right place. It can't just be your body finding some ridiculous way to get to this position because your body will find a way and it will cause injuries. It will cause more uh, imbalances in your body and we don't want that. So yoga for bodybuilders, absolutely great idea, but be careful, beware, be pack out.